Hey there my friends, Jennifer Patterson, the Gamer Mom Marketer here and today I wanted to show you how to register a domain name using GoDaddy so let's get started I'm in the process of setting up a new vlog site or video blog site so I'm going to register the domain name that I want for my site and I've already double checked it before doing this video so GamerMomMarketer.com is available so that is the one that I am getting so I'm going to click the add button uh, whatever site you want as uh, simple as just yourname.com um, my name is very popular as Jennifer is common and so is Patterson so that name has already been taken which is why I gave myself kind of a secondary nickname um, but you know if you don't want to do that you can also do work with and then your name or add a middle initial or um, something like I am you know it's just something kind of on top of your name and obviously you don't need any of the other extras a bit even though they're gonna ask you so once you choose you're just gonna do continue um, it's gonna ask you to log in or create an account um, if you create an account you just fill out this form here and then you're gonna click next I already have an account so I'm going to log in if I can remember my password that's gonna be tricky one second I'm gonna pause this to look my password up alright I looked up my password and we're gonna get next alright so here is we've already chosen a domain name so that's why that is checked off it's going to ask for your settings. I'm going to do just one year because I like paying one year at a time. Um, if you do more than one year at a time, you get a bigger discount. So that's just up to you. Um, certified isn't necessary, but if you want it, you can choose it. Uh, the little information bubble gives you um, more information about what's the difference between certified or not certified as far as I'm concerned it's kinda unnecessary so I'm going with uncertified you really don't need any of the extras but you know you want them add them that's your kinda thing um, as far as privacy and whatnot I always go with standard if you want more privacy you know your that is your choice I also again I don't believe it's necessary but you know that's your choice if you want it private or not. Um, you're not going to need email uh, because your hosting provider should take care of all that for you and I would not recommend GoDaddy for hosting. Um, so no worries about the email so you don't want to add any of that. You don't want GoDaddy's hosting. Their customer service on the hosting side isn't the best so wouldn't recommend it but if you want it you know add it you're going to click next and obviously I've got a couple domains expiring soon so it's letting me know about that but I don't want them so I'm going to go no thanks I might do those later alright so here we go so it's got here is my discounted rate with my total with my fees for one year I'm going to leave it public. I don't care about a .net or a .org or .info. Or, um, well, it's free, so I guess I'll just go with the .info. Why not? Um, and it include, has an $0.18 cent fee. for that. That's fine. And I don't care about this. So I am just going to check out. Okay, now when you get here, you can choose your credit debit card, a gift card, a check, or a PayPal. Um, just put in your billing information, and then you have to click this little box for I have read 
and agree to the terms and conditions. So you need to make sure that's a check mark. And then you're going to push this big orange place order now button. So I don't want anyone seeing my payment information. So I'm going to pause the video, fill this out, click, click that button, and then I'll turn the video back on so I to show you where we go from here. So all right, here we are back. Um, I put, pressed that orange button, so here is my receipt for my order. It's got my customer number and my username, and I now have a website. So um, to set up and manage it, I can click on my account. and then you'll see that you have domains here so you're going to want to launch it and there is the website I just activated now under here the only thing you're going to need to touch in here is the um, oh what do they call it Ah, DNS manager. Um, inside this DNS manager, or sorry, not DNS manager, name servers, you're going to want to click on this um, little set name servers icon. And then, since you're going to host with somebody else, you're going to go with I have a hosting account with these domains and click OK. try again later. Blah, 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 blah. Um, what I should have done was said that I wanted to change them, <laughs> which I guess I'll do on another video, and you should get name servers from your hosting account that you're going to replace the default domaincontrol.com name servers with the ones from your uh, web hosting, and I will show you how to do that in another video. So for now, that's how you register with GoDaddy. That's step one of setting up your own website. And I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, leave me some comments below. I'll put a link down below for to um, GoDaddy. That's an affiliate link for me so that if you found this video helpful, uh, you can thank me by using my link so I get a tiny commission for uh, helping you through this process. You guys have an awesome day, and I will see you another time. Bye-bye.